to financial and in this video we will see how depreciation is recorded using tally plan depreciation is the normal wear and tear that happens to a fixed asset whether it be machinery land and building um, furnitures etc any wear and tear during the useful life of the asset is being depreciated that means it is considered as an expense in the profit and loss account of, of the company let's see with an example abc company purchases a machinery for its office use on 1st of jan for 20000 dirhams and 1000 dirhams is 5 percentage of that the useful life of the asset is 5 years the estimated value of the asset at the end of its life is 1000 that means uh, the scrap value, estimated scrap value of the asset is uh, 1000 dirhams, which means after the year, 5 years, the company expects to get 1000 dirhams uh, when it sells this 20,000 worth of machinery. The financial year of ABC company is Jan 2023 to December 2023. The books of accounts closes on December 31st, 2023. Let's see what is the um, entry for it. When a company purchases an asset, we will book the purchase of an asset. That is, the, uh, the purchase happens on Jan 1st, 2023. So, date 1 1 2023, machinery account 20,000, debted, VAT um, account debted 1,000, to cash account 21,000. This 1,000 dirhams of VAT can be reclaimed or claimed back by the company when it books a um, purchase entry and while fi filing the VAT returns, it gets the 1000 back from the FTA authority. So, totally the company pays 21,000, but the depreciation is calculated always on the 20,000 because that is the actual cost the company incurs. 1000 dirhams is a claimable amount from the FTA or the government uh, returns the 1000 to the company. And the useful life of the asset is 5 years. Estimated value of the asset at the end of the life is 1000. This part becomes useful for the calculation of depreciation. At the time of purchase, this is the entry that will be passed. Machinery account debted 20,000. VAT account debted 1000. And to cash 21,000. That is 21,000 is payable as a total amount for purchase of machinery. Next, let's see how depreciation is calculated. Depreciation uh, calculation has different methods. In this example, I am following one method that is the straight line method. Straight line method of uh, depreciation, the formula goes like depreciation is equal to the value of asset minus the salvage value divided by the life of the asset. There are many uh, methods of depreciation. In this example, I am explaining only one of the methods that is the straight line method in this example we have 20000 as the value of the asset salvage value which is 1000 and life of the asset is 5 years depreciation is equal to 20000 minus the salvage value 1000 divided by 5 that is 19000 divided by 5 gives you 3800 this is in a year 3800 is depreciated or reduced from the machinery account every year till 5 years every year this 3800 will be depreciated that is called straight line method every year the same amount gets depreciated um, and this amount of 3800 gets reduced from the 20,000 dirhams from the balance sheet now let's see the journal entry for it uh, depreciation would be usually passed at the end of the year that is 31 12 2023 Depreciation account debted to machinery account. The depreciation we calculated was 3800. So, three, depreciation account 3800 to machinery account 3800. Narration being depreciation of machinery for the year 2023. Usually, one entry would be passed at the end of the year and it reflects in the profit and loss account of the, uh, uh, of the company. Uh, if you require, if the company requires to have the depreciation passed every month, then this total of 3800 can be divided by 12 and at the end of every month, like 1st of um, Jan is the purchase, 
so 31st of jan onwards every end of the month you can depreciate a uh, monthly amount like 3800 divided by 12 it is the choice of each management to decide whether depreciation has to be passed monthly or yearly usual course of action is yearly once in a year that is at the end of the uh, year depreciation is booked total amount is booked let's see how depreciation is done using tally prime let's see how depreciation is recorded using tally prime first we will record the purchase of the machinery go to a purchase voucher check the date of purchase is 1 1 23 we will assume that the uh, invoice number of supplier is 0 1 2 3 date is 1 1 23 and we have purchased it from grand stationery showroom you can select and skip those uh, information it automatically pops up then we create a ledger called machinery this ledger machinery would be under fixed assets it is taxable at five percentage as per uae rules and it comes under the category of goods and the company where the company operates the country the emirates in which the company which abc company is that is dubai or the machinery uh, where, where it's purchased from then the machinery value 20000 then vat which is 5% will be automatic automatically calculated that is 1000 dirhams check new reference purchase purchase of machinery with 5 years lifespan lifespan and 1000 uh, AED as well this narration would help us to track the details in, in the coming years next we go to the payment voucher we make the payment to the supplier in cash the grand showroom we have to pay 21,000 and the invoice number is 0123 we make the purchase you can make any uh, narration payment for then you th this is done on the same date of purchase next we pass a journal entry at the end of the year that is 31 12 2023 depreciation depreciation is 3800 um and credit to depreciation account credited to machinery that is 3800 depreciation account is created under indirect expenses here type of ledger not applicable uh, then taxability there is no taxability tax rate is zero and uh, in, uh, inclusion of accessible value calculation is not applicable you enter all of these details and then save it now let's see how what is the effect of this entry on different uh, ledgers we go to the profit and loss account of the data of the company for 1 1 2023 20, select the period give a detailed view you will see that the depreciation here is recorded as 300 and 2800 and it is considered as an indirect expense it reduces the profitability next it goes to the we go to the balance sheet here if you drill down to have a detailed view of the asset the machinery is reduced by 3800 the machinery value at the purchase time in january was 20000 during the usage it has reduced by 3800 and now the value is just 16200 at the end of the year this 3800 is de uh, de depreciated at the end of the year as a single entry you might divide this 3800 by 12 and can pass the same entry every month that is 3800 divided by 12 that value can be given as an entry every month but usually it is advisable to give it monthly also monthly also or yearly as one entry both effect are the same if your company prefers to have the depreciation monthly you might do it monthly or yearly would also be fine and 
this is the effect the uh, machinery value is 16200 at the end of the year that is december 2023 let's see how depreciation is calculated without the uh, salvage or the estimated scrap value that means if a com company is purchasing a as a asset for 20000 and we know only the useful life of the asset so we do not know what is the estimated scrap value in that case we will uh, find the depreciation as depreciation is equal to value of the asset divided by the life of the asset that is 20000 divided by 4 5 5 is the uh, life of the asset 5 years we are expected to have the machinery running in full condition so 20000 divided by 5 4000 is the uh, depreciation yearly so in that case the journal entry would be uh, on 31st 12 2023 in our books of account we will pass an entry as depreciation account debted 4000 to machinery account 4000 being depreciation of machinery for the year 2023 i uh, hope you understood and you uh, like the video thank you